Okay, we're on the side that an, exp an uh, adjuster is exposed. We've already taken the drum assembly off of this side and down in between of there we can see the one self-adjusting mechanism and that's this guy right here where it has a fulcrum point here then and of course the strut rod then down below the lever is going to go up and down literally moving the adjuster up and down as this guy does operate. Next then along with this then this star wheel is what actually we'll take and we can adjust this guy out but we can't adjust it back in because of the lever down underneath of here holding it. So that means we're going to have to go in from the back side which there is a cutout in the back side with a rubber plug in it and we're going to have to reach through from the back and literally pull this arm out and then crank the adjuster back in. Now this gets very difficult but if you're coming in from the back side it won't turn one way because of the way this locks it down so then you know you have to go the opposite way but it is just by feel having to do that and again the main reason that we're having to do that is because of where the shoe rides against the drum we get an area on the inside of the drum that gets rusted as we see right there once you have the drum off that's easy to take care of either by turning the drum uh, on a lathe or going in with a rotary grinder and literally just grinding that edge off so that it no longer holds the shoe like it. So let's go back to our adjuster and work on it from the inside. Now I won't be able to show you both sides at once on this but we will be able to see what I'm doing with the tools and again this is going to be up to you to be able to figure this out. There is a whole lot of tools that you could use. There's a whole lot of commonly sold tools and of course is a one is a brake shoe adjusting tools. Of course they have different angles on it. It's wide like a chisel on that end. The other end's not as sharp. It has a cutout to reach in between of things and so on like that. But the problem we have here is that in the back side we have a leaf spring bracket so we're very limited on the distance. Another tool that you could possibly come up with is old screwdrivers that you break the ends on. I physically take and sometimes I'll grind V's in them, bend the angle of them after I warm them up with a torch to be able to push on springs and whatnot like that. But he's still too long to reach inside of there then. We could try to use a small screwdriver, but it's not wide enough. Remember the other tool was like a chisel. Well, why don't we just take a small chisel out of our toolbox and use that for the cranking device. Now the spring device is up underneath and what I find helping an awful lot is actually a pick with a 90 degree end on it. So let's get a picture from the opposite end here and I'm going to reach in through the back and see if I can hold the adjuster away from it while I'm then cranking it. And again this is awkward to show on the camera but you can see I've snuck in from behind. I know which way is up on this because I paint a line on the opposite end of my pick. So I know which way is up and you're going to have to push this adjuster out just like this. Then I got to get in with my screwdriver, or in this case my chisel. I got to get a picture here so I can see. And after I release this unit, or let's say before I release it, notice I can't move it. So I can't pull my chisel down from the end I'm on because it's locked. That means if I lift my chisel up, it's going to be adjusting the brake out. But I want to go the other way, so again, I do want to be able to go down with my chisel. And after a couple hundred turns of this and a lot of aggravation, holding that out, getting your chisel on there, going one notch at a time, you can back this off so that the shoes compress closer together. And then you'll be able to pull that drum off of the actual shoes themselves to get it released. Of course, while we're sitting right here then, 
let's do this at this point that means upon initial setup we would like these shoes to be of the right width that means we can go in and we can adjust these guys from this side without having to fight down underneath and adjust the width on them. Well, how far do you go with these on the width? Two ways. One, we make an ID OD caliper that most brake tools kits come with inside them and of course you have the points for an ID hole then you've got the outside hole and two sides of this. What we do is take this go over to our brake drum measure the ID the inside diameter of our brake drum with that end making the top end the same width we then come over to our shoes and while we keep checking the distance the width of these guys we can turn this to get across some studs right there we then adjust this out until we get the right tightness within that. Something that works just as well besides this tool is literally just taking the drum itself though, and using it as a guide, getting part way on and wiggling it sideways and seeing if you can go over top of it like that there then. I can still turn it, I can still push it on, but the shoes just barely come close to it which means that the adjustment's probably close enough and then normal operation of backing up, pushing the brake pedal down will allow it to adjust out. Then of course on that upon reassembly don't forget to put the rubber plug back in the slot that belongs in the back to keep all the Ohio weather out of this guy as we know it is rusty and so on like that. There's a rubber plug there. All right. We'll go to the other side then and we'll do some removal, but that's how you, these guys get adjusted on these units.